Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts with Jenny. And I currently upload about three to four times a week. I'm working on that fourth. And dollar, we have Monday, which is Dollar Tree Monday, and Tuesday, which is Tool Time Tuesday. Those two days are just way too much fun. Wednesday, we kind of just, I don't know. It's more, no, out it goes. So today I'm using this color palette called Daisy and Gin. Right, right about here, or if I have space, I may, well, that's a good space right there. I'll put it right there. All right, so basically what this thing calls for is a light blue, which I have here. And then it calls for a greenish blue and I've got micro powder, which I think I'm going to try these three colors to get this odd color. And I don't know, let me see if I can, this one, right? Oh, I'm gonna let me, here, let's do it on the, okay, so I'm wanting to create this color here. That one down, I'm going to try to create with these guys. Um, they wanted a gold color and a brown. Well, let's go with gold. You know I want this or that. I've done a few uh, commissioned pieces and that was fun. Um, but what I do is I have these little... Get this in there. There we go. Um, I have these little... I, I staged my... Um, projects ahead of time so I'm usually about a month out of things and I have them on my little ledge down here and as I like tonight when I get back um, from doing some errands I will come in here and um, look where, look and see where I'm at in that month and then I start going into the next month and then I have these little cue cards um, that tell me basically what to do <laughs> Yeah, I know. So yeah, they kind of tell me which direction I'm going. So just a little bit of the micro powder. These guys will probably be my main colors that I use. I was thinking about it too, and I've got written down here half gold and half brown on the canvas, and then these kind of go up the center. So it might be pretty. I do some fall colors. Yeah. The brown's gorgeous. You can't go wrong with deco art. You know, there's so many companies out there these days. Um, you know, their paints are really good. And I think that they realize that, hey, if we want to be in this industry with these people, we need to step up our game. Or, at a minimum, explain to folks in regards to our, our paints do or do not mix well. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. You can buy some paints and think, oh yeah, these guys are going to mix well, and then you find out, nope, they do not. So. These guys are good stir. I like to let them stir and just kind of let them sit for a minute or two. And the cool thing is, in regards to these palettes, it's kind of it's kind of just kind of eyeball the colors. Um, usually, I come up with something that's pretty cl pretty close, um, and then sometimes I add in a color that it doesn't call for, just because I want I want to do that, right? So if you guys are in focus up there, okay. I'm trying some new camera angles, so and I have no idea what this color is going to come out as, but we'll see. <laughs> this is the one I mixed. <gasps> I don't know if they wanted that color, but that's gorgeous. It's in a greenish gray. It's kind of like a iridescent. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 
a gorgeous color. Wow. Okay, so when do you I don't know that I'm gonna use these little guys to do half and half on my canvas. I think I'll use the more these guys up here because I have more of them. So let's do okay. I'll do kind of like what do you guys want to do? Hmm. Can do like that. This one's fine. Okay. Let's do sort of here. That is gorgeous. Basically, I'm just giving the other paint something to move, be able to move around with and add to the color of the canvas too. Blue's really nice. That was the deco art. Got some bubbles in it, but that's okay. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Add some of this to it. Okay. Yeah, let's play around with these colors. Beautiful color. I guess I've created. Uh, need to start uh, creating my own palettes. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's in the mix. It's out there. Okay, the blue. Kind of want to drizzle that too. Get another spin here. Okay, let's see what the blow dryer does to it here. this down here. Um, let's do that. Okay, let me see if I can blow it all that way. Let me turn it around here. I 
want to get it to go that direction. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it's very subtle, um, but I kind of like it. It kind of looks kind of ocean-y like. Um, let's get some more right here. I kind of like the way it's looking. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> um, let's see here. It looks kind of like seashells, and I think that once it dries, if they stay in like seashell mode, like around here, I think I will take like a gold pin, or not a pin, but one of these guys here, um, and kind of go around it and kind of outline it. I think that would look really cool. I wish it, there was one down here, but I think, I think I can create one with the pen. Just kind of go, wow, wow, wow. See if I can. We'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah, come kind of, to my to me it looks like seashells or something. Um, I think it looks pretty cool actually. Um, like I said, a very subtle and yeah. Let's see if I can do. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> um, I know it's hard to do. You pick up pick up a brush or another tool. It's like, oh yeah, let's do this and this and this, and it's like, oh, I don't want to push it too far. Okay, so I'm going to let it dry um, and kind of go from there. So yeah. So if you're enjoying my videos, hit that subscribe button. It's tucked down there. And if you're on Facebook, hit those follow buttons. I sure would appreciate it. And yeah. So I'm looking at all my cameras to see if they're still behaving. I have trust issues when it comes to cameras. <sighs> yeah. But anyway.
All right. Well, I'm going to get off here and do some of the things for the rest of the day. And what do I always say? Go out there. Be awesome. Be great. Do your thing. And I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon.